Hotels will have people coming and going all summer. St. Louis University's Assistant Professor of Computer Science, Abby Stellianu, is asking travelers to take advantage of their hotel stays by doing something a little extra. Not much, just take some photos of your room. Different angles, the bathroom included, and upload them to a free app she created called traffic cam. Victims of human trafficking are often photographed in hotel rooms. The pictures are then used in advertisements for things like sex services. Um, and identifying where those pictures are taken is a big part of the investigations. So when travelers anonymously share hotel room pictures to traffic cam, matches can be made to images taken by human traffickers. Identifying where those pictures are taken is a big part of the investigation. And just because the hotel is nice, doesn't mean it's not happening there. Running the gamut from one-star hotels to five-star hotels in all sorts of fancy hotels around the world. According to the U.S. Department of State, there are nearly 28 million human trafficking victims worldwide at any given time. Human traffickers prey on adults and children of different backgrounds and nationalities. Traffickers exploit their victims for profit by compelling them to perform labor or engage in commercial sex. If you can prove that a victim was moved across state lines, they were photographed in a hotel in Illinois and a photograph in a hotel in Missouri, then that becomes a federal crime rather than a state crime. And with that becomes increased power. So you have increased investigative power and then you have more prosecutorial power. Stellianu says the artificial intelligence developed for the app can help rescue victims. We've built up a huge database of hotel room images, and then we use AI approaches to uh, figure out, essentially from the patterns that we've seen in those pictures, where the victim photograph was taken. We've really locked it down so that only a very small group of investigators have access to it. In particular, we work with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. The expert analysts who access the portal can upload and compare the human trafficking photos against hotel room images in the database. We need pictures from every hotel, in every room, from every different viewpoint and every different lighting condition. The more images we get, the better our search is going to work. And the reason for that is that we match the victim images to the most similar images we've ever seen in our hotel. Our traveler pictures from the Traffic Cam app look more like the victim images. Because hotel chains have their own room designs and decor, that doesn't mean there are not differences from one location to the next. This is why uploading several pictures can help. So you say that, okay, this is the artwork that's on the wall, you snap the picture, and then you say, what hotel are you at? Um, you can pick it from a drop-down list. We try to make it as simple as possible um, for folks. What's your room number? Stellianu asked travelers to be very specific when taking pictures. Focus on different items in the room. Take as many pictures of as many different things as they want. And we ask them to tell us specifically, like, is that the bed? Is it the carpet? Is the couch? Because a lot of times the investigative images, the images of victims, you only see one little bit of the background. So the way that we check this is we record the GPS information of the picture. Is that GPS coordinate sufficiently close to the hotel room? What we hear from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children is that they're using it on a daily basis. It's working. We hope that our tool can help bring the victims justice. And a lot of that is making sure that their traffickers are not trafficking them or any other victims again in the future.